Matt, the Mortgage Guy, Mortgage Mondays, episode 123. I'm talking the truth about mortgage offers by mail. Matt, the Mortgage Guy, Mortgage Mondays, episode 123. I'm talking about mortgage offers by mail and the truth about them because I get all kinds of questions and people get stuff in the mail. It looks super official. They don't know what to believe, what is a genuine offer, what's not. So I wanted to clarify some of that. These offers you're getting in the mail, I'm getting them too. I'm not going to call out any specific companies. I'm just going to show the back sides of probably 15 pieces of mail that I got on a property I own in Sacramento over the last three months. I saved them because for me, it's it's market research. And if I'm getting this stuff, clients of mine are getting this stuff. It depends on who's servicing and taking payments on your loan, what type of mailers you're getting. Some are more aggressive than others. But honestly, folks will get this stuff and, and don't know what to make of it. Oh, I'm getting this great offer and it says I'm pre-approved and my home is eligible for cash and you know, cut your debt and pull out your equity now. A lot of marketing goes into these pieces. It's a lot less your specific scenario. So they're marketing to everybody. And, and that's probably the first thing to consider and know about these mortgage offers by mail. This specific company I noticed stopped putting interest rates and having flashy, you know, 2.875 interest rate. That was their thing for a while. Cause I get pictures of stuff that my clients get sent in the mail. You know, it's got asterisks. Then you flip on the back and it's paying three points. It's a 5-1 FHA arm with mortgage insurance and, and things like that where, of course, you know, that's what marketing does. It's a big flashy sign. It lures you in and then the fine print tells you um, where they're getting you. So anyhow, what I want to talk about in this video and, and get across to folks is that these marketing pieces that are going out said you specifically qualify for this great program is not necessarily designed just for you. It's something that goes out to everybody. Just think about the tire company that sends something out to everybody. You don't necessarily need new tires because you're getting <laughs> an advertisement from a tire company. When a mortgage company sends you something like this, trust me, I have talked to these folks because this specific servicer goes pretty hard. They'll call you on the phone, they'll send you mailers, and I've got a 30 year fixed in the threes and I don't need cash. So I'm not touching this mortgage, but I let them talk to me a little bit. And honestly, the servicers of these loans are generally going to have someone in a call center who's not a licensed loan officer, or if they are, they're working in this call center environment where they're not necessarily the most highly skilled professionals with advising on, on what's best for you. So just be aware of that. If you get stuff in the mail, if you're considering refinancing or purchasing a home, the best person to talk to is somebody who's local who knows their stuff who you you know got a referral from a friend or a family member who's done business with this person all the quality loan officers i know if you look them up online they've got quality reviews and tons of people talking about how smooth and easy the process was if you talk to somebody who's in a call center for one of these big uh, mortgage companies that that servicing loans you know these folks are it's, it's a numbers game for them. It's not the personal service you'll get from a quality loan officer who's got a reputation and, and an online presence. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all about anything you get in the mail, I always tell my clients to screenshot it and shoot it to me and I'll kind of um, look at it for you and, and decipher what it is, what it means, and, and what they're really trying to say. If a deal sounds too good to be true, it probably is. There's probably some fine print, but you know, getting this stuff reminds some of my clients, oh yeah, I did want to discuss this and they call me directly, which is the right thing to do. Anyhow, hope that helps. Until next time, Matt the Mortgage Guy.